Hey guys, I'm really excited because today I'm going to be doing my first holiday makeup tutorial of the season. Um, I'm super, super excited because I just got in my collection um, called White Christmas from Dine Air. I was trying to think because I had gotten two. I had gotten, I had gotten the White Christmas and the Silver Bells and the White Christmas came today and I'm really, really excited because these colors are so beautiful. Now obviously I already have my face makeup on so if you want to see how I created this look. I'll post my foundation routine in the bottom. I literally just did it like a week ago, so it's really current. Um, and the greatest thing about this look is you don't need any makeup brushes. All you need is an airbrush machine, which is awesome. It's my Dine Air. So, yeah. Let's just get started. I, before, before actually, <laughs> before I do all this, um, I'm going to just list the colors that I'm going to be using. That way I don't have to like start and stop. When you order the White Christmas Collection from Dine Air, you get Ruby Red. You get this beautiful opal white shimmer, sage green, their gold shimmer, the fawn brown. Okay, those are the colors you, you get with it. And then I, um, I have my moist and dewy that I'm going to use for my lips. And that is also by Dynair. So now let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you'll need is your shields because I'm going to just do my eyes, a little bit of the cheeks, and my lips. I'm going to set my airbrush gun a little past the 6 o'clock. Well, I would say it's right between the 7 and the 8 o'clock. A little dial. I'm going to spray to make sure that all the makeup is out of there for my foundation. And what I'm going to start with is my base shadow and my highlighter. And for my base, I'm going to be using the gold. And the highlighter, I'm going to be using my opal white. I'm going to put about, maybe I'm going to start with just three drops. Yeah, we'll do four for a look into your little mixer and just spray to make sure it's the color you like. I'm going to add a couple more drops. I'm going to set it almost to the 9 o'clock actually just so it comes out a little more. And now I'm just going to take it, actually you should use the shield, just so you don't get it on your, um, what do you call it, your foundation. You take the shield and just spray where you want it. I really get in the corners, because that's where the shimmer shows the most. dial lower you get a more exact line but I'm gonna actually just do it a little higher to the full nine o'clock I'm gonna really get in my corners and then bring it up When you get close to your lash line, I would use the shield to show you don't get too much on for actual foundation. And I love a lot of eyeshadow, that's why I'm packing it on. I want it to be super shimmery. It's the holiday, so you should have it. It's super, super pretty gold. Okay, 
taking the excess gold off. And again, I would just make sure you really get it. And of course, I sprayed a little too much. When you're doing your base with airbrush, you really want to make sure that it's on and that it's not going anywhere because too often I was like, damn, I wish I put more base on it, but now I'm going to do, so there's your base shadow. Now I'm going to take the opal white, also in shimmer. And you get this all in the collection. It's called White Christmas, so y'all get it. Now, I left just a little bit of gold in there because I'm going to bring it up here, and I kind of want it to blend. So I left just a tiny, tiny bit of gold, but I'm only going to do maybe two dapples of white. spray on your arch. And as you can tell, it still has a little bit of that gold shimmer in it, but it's more white. And you can use a shield because it, it might get a little, but again, these are the shimmer colors, so I'm not too concerned with them getting on my actual um, skin. Okay, I'm going to take the remainder of the white out. Your Kleenex even looks beautiful. <laughs> okay. Now, the next color I'm going to use, and I always put the caps back on them right away because sometimes I get the caps mixed up and with all these colors that I have now, I don't want to get them mixed up like that, so. Alright. The next color I'm going to be taking is the sage green. And I'm one of those girls that uses like every color that you get in the collection, so you can either choose to use the brown or the green at this point, but I'm going to use both, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to take a couple drops of the sage green. And make sure you test the color on your napkin to make sure you like it. Because once it's on, this makeup stays pretty much on, which is good, but you got to really make sure that you like the color. And the sage green is so pretty. It's almost like the brown, so it's kind of perfect. So, again, if you're a little nervous, you can always use the shield to kind of block where you're going with it. So, like, if you don't want to go past your cat eye line, I'm just going to take it and I'm going to smoke it. I'm going to bring it down my cat eye line. Same thing with this. Take my cat eye line and the crease. I always make sure it's darker in my pockets and then you go lighter. Especially since I'm going to be using the brown in this same look. Now if you want it lighter, obviously, you just hold it further away and don't put as much on. I'm kind of like layering it on just because I really like it smoky. But it's a green smoky, which is so pretty at Christmas time. Thank 
even spray a little more on your lid because I'm going to be taking the brown to settle in my crease to really give it that defined look. So I'm going to kind of just bring it over a little more. This is so great because you don't even need to blend your looks when you use the airbrush. It's just automatically blended. It's just super pretty and shimmery. So now I'm going to spray the rest of the green out. And really you only need a couple drops. Apparently I've been spraying way too, <laughs> way too much, which is kind of my bad habit with this airbrush. I'm not really used to how much to put in yet, but really with the shadows you only need a couple drops, even with the heavy looks. So now I'm going to take the cap back on. The fawn brown, which is almost you'll see how it looks. It they look they look darker than they come on your eye with, so just be a little worn with that. I'm gonna put only one, two drops in, and even that might be a lot because again I'm just doing the crease. And as you can see, there's I left just a little green again. I like to leave a little of my last color in there, a very tiny bit, just so it blends better. But you'll see it's more of a brown. And now I'm going to take my dial back down to the 8 slash 7 o'clock because I'm just going to go in my crease. And I'm not going as high as I took the green because I just want a little little bit and over here as well and it's definitely more of a defined line but you can bring it over a little just so it gets that sort of blended look and it really just warms up your color And see why it was important to make sure you get all your base and your highlighter where you want it. Because once you have these dark colors in, you can spray them out and do the white. But it's just not going to give it that pure color that we started with. Just spray the rest of this out. And again, see one drop probably would have been suffice with the brown. But I really want to make sure I get all this out because I'm going to be moving to my cheeks and my lips next. Now, I use Sassy Pink on my cheek just because that's the normal color I use when I do my foundation. But, since it's the holidays, I'm going to be actually going with a ruby red. And I'm going to put just a little, little bit over the sassy pink because it's a shimmer so it's not going to come out red red plus this is the color I'm also going to be using on my lips so I'm going to put a few drops of that in I'm going to spray make sure it's the color I want because you don't want brown on your cheeks and it's a very pretty shimmer so I'm just going to go super light over my sassy pink that I already have In a circular motion and I bring it up. I think it gives it a, a little bit of the extra glow. You know? I think it looks pretty. Once I do my eyelashes and my liner, it, it pulls the whole look together. I'm going to take just a little bit more of this red and I'm going to do my lips with it. I'm going to turn it down to, again, 7, 8 o'clock where kind of you did your crease because I'm going to be using my lips. You simply just spray where your lips are. Feels like you're at the dentist. As you can see, the shimmer is very light, so if you want that darker, richer red, just put another coat on. And 
my shot probably should be using a shield just because it's such a dark color. Same thing up here. And if you want to get your upper, just turn it down a little more. <laughs> Don't get it on your teeth. and you get a really nice deep red color for the holidays. Now you can keep with the matte color, which I think is super pretty, or I bought from Di or I got from Dynair a while ago this Moist and Dewy, and it gives it that gloss look. You can also use this on your face if you want the dewy look, but I'm gonna just use it for lip gloss as right now. You got super pretty lip gloss. Okay. So now you can turn your Dine Air machine off. And now, just to make your lips, sorry, your eyes a little more defined, you can, they have eyeliner, the smoky black eyeliner from Dine Air. But it can be a little tricky, and for this particular look, I want it to have a very sort of pin up -y feel and not so smoky as I normally do. So I'm going to use my Clinique Gel Liner, which I love, but I'm not going to smoke it out. I'm going to do just a clean single line on top. And I'm going to have wing it, and then I'm going to wing it out. And sometimes it's a little difficult for me to wing it out with my airbrush gun, so you'll need just an eyeliner. I'm going to take a pretty good amount of it and just apply a wing. And then I'm going to drag just a little. And it gives it more of that wet look. And almost 50s inspired look just because the lip is so dramatic you kind of want the eye to be not as much dramatic although I do all of my shadows <laughs> but if you'll notice I'm not going to put liner on the bottom for this look start with your wing I got that smooth sort of 50s pinup look. And you will put mascara on the bottom just because you don't want to have totally new, but I think it's it's very retro, very classic. Before I put 
the mascara on the bottom. I'm actually going to apply my eyelashes and I'm just going to take these super thin but long lashes because I don't want to go super thick with this look. Just because the eyes are so pretty as it is. And I apply eyelashes pretty much the same in all my videos, but it's always good to just practice because these are really tough and these have a very thin line, so I'm going to be really careful to apply a really thin, um, thin line of glue. And so I'm going to hold my breath for it. <laughs> And like let it dry for a good minute. It's good to have tweezers on hand just in case you're going to have to pat it down. And then you're just going to set it in the middle. Let it set for just a couple seconds. And then push have it set on the sides. And while you let that one set, take your other one and start the glue process on that and then you can kind of play with the other one while this is drying. Oop, didn't hold my breath for that, I was talking. Look at the difference eyelashes make. People really don't think they make that big of a difference, but they do. <laughs> like, whoa, glam! And you're going to do the exact same thing with this one. Again, a good trick for putting on eyelashes is aim for the center of your eyeball and have that part set first and then take these down. And if they don't fit, you can always cut them, but... And I got the kind of glue that will dry. It goes on white. And they have the stuff that goes on black, but I just like the white so I can kind of see where it's at. But it'll dry by the time I get my hair up. And once they dry a little more, you can bring them down to get closer to your lash line. I'm just going to take my Great Lash Mascara, Cheapo Mascara, and do my bottom lashes. Oh, my top one's dry. Oh my god. You guys all make that O face when you do it. <laughs> I kind of do it back and forth to get a little bit of a liner look, but you don't want a lot. At least it looks like you have something going on down there now. <laughs>
And then I'm gonna come back at the end and make sure these all sit. The eyelashes are definitely the last thing you do, but it's one of the most critical things you do because I'll do a little bit of closer look after the hair. Now simply for my hair, all I did was brush, I curled it and then I brushed out the curls, so. Let me scoot back a little. And you can leave it like this. Brush them out. And I think this is a super pretty holiday look as is. But I think I might put mine up just because I always wear mine down. And the curls will look really pretty at the top. This is very like retro looking. Okay. It's just the simple barrel curls brushed out. And it gives it that super soft, pretty look. Or, if you want to make it a little more classic, you can pull it back in a ponytail and you'll have really soft curls. What I'm going to do is put it on top of my head. And there's no really big trick to it other than just throw your head over and grasp it. I'll show you. So, throw my head over. And I'm just gathering all the hair on top and pulling out, keeping out my bangs, or at least trying to. And then, when you gather all your hair, let me pull back, when you gather all your hair on top, as if you're going to do a ponytail, you're just going to pull it to the front. As high as you can, almost to the middle of your head, pull it in front so all your curls come to the front. So it's flipped backwards, and then take your hair tie, which is already on your hand, and just wrap it as if you're going to pull it through backwards, but stop right when you get to the curls, and fan it out. And then kind of just display your curls, you know, the way you like them. So you have a really quite a cute updo. I like my curls to be spread out more. You can throw them back a little if you want. Okay. And that's also a super classic look. And you can pull them behind your ears or pin them behind your ears if you want that look as well. So they're not just hanging. Sexify it a little. <laughs> Let me set back a little more. And it's a really pretty look. Now, by this time, your eyelashes should be dry. And mine are. So you could apply just a little mascara to them. So they blend together. And make sure they stay down, especially in the corners. Because these little buggers will pop up on you. So I always carry eyelash glue with me. And there is your Christmas look. White Christmas collection. technique and if I can do it like I always say you can do it because I'm not a professional makeup artist I'm just a girl who really loves makeup so let me know if you try this let me know if you get this collection it's really pretty and I'm so in love with it and it's actually perfect for all year round but especially this time so have a happy holidays Merry Christmas Happy Hanukkah Kwanzaa whatever you celebrate and uh, do it looking glamorous thanks for watching <laughs>